came here so ragged, a follow true star, a chorus of angels has led me thus far. I came as a beggar at the feet of a babe, just one more debtor who never can pay. I am no ancient, no shepherd, no king. I have no gold, no gift do I bring. I'm only a man here who's remembering when this lowly stable held court to a king. I came seeking wisdom, nearly missing great grace. The hope of all ages lingers still in this place. The wind carries whispers of cries from that night, when those who saw him found joy in his life. I am no ancient, no shepherd, no king. I gift do I bring, I'm only a man here who's remembering when this lowly stable held court to a king. We've traveled this path for two thousand years With dreams, hope, and longing, with sorrow and tears Now on this bright morning we're called to carry on To the cross where we start our journey home I am no ancient, no shepherd, no king I have no gold, no gift do I bring. I'm only a man here who's remembering when this lowly stable held court to a king. He is the ancient of days, the true king. He came bearing gifts, God's love did he bring. He calls to us softly, this babe eternal word, the Lion of Judah, our Savior and Lord.
Welcome, Grace Congregational United Church of Christ. Welcome to our online Christmas Eve service. Over the last four weeks, the song, I Believe, has helped us remember that we can believe that God is with us, even and especially in the midst of hard times. We have filled the night, those sad places, with music and light, courage to say we believe even now as we gather around a screen in our homes to celebrate again the presence of Emmanuel, God with us. This is the night we celebrate that the Holy came in human form to be light in our lives, to speak to us, to touch us, to comfort us, and to call us. Advent hope moves us. Advent love leads us. Advent joy stirs us. Advent peace steals us. That we might affirm our King Jesus. Let us now set a flame to the center of our lives, the center of the Advent wreath, the Christ candle. Affirmation. We believe that Jesus is the Son of God. He was born of the Virgin Mary in Bethlehem of Judea. He was the long-awaited Messiah whose coming was prophesied. The same Jesus lives today in our hearts. He deserves our highest loyalty and total commitment. In Jesus Christ, our hope is fulfilled, our love is consummated, our joy is complete, and our peace is is sealed. Rejoice, a Savior is born. Opening Prayer Holy One, we thank you for the glimpse of heaven on earth in the faces and the light of those around us, even in the midst of fear, of challenge, of struggle, even when our view is obscured by clouds of doubt. You have ignited the flame of hope, love, joy and peace within us let us glow with its brilliance from the inside out amen
Today's scripture reading is from Isaiah 52, verses 7 through 10. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger who announces peace, who brings good news, who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Listen, your sentinels lift up their voices. Together they sing for joy, for in plain sight, they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Let us hear the Christmas story as told by Luke chapter 2 verses 1 through 20 and we make we feel the night with the music. We're going to tell the story of the birth of the Christ child 
as told in the second chapter of Luke and the second chapter of Matthew. This is a spontaneous story. While we often think of this story as part of God's plan, something that was waiting to happen for a long, long time, we need to remember that the shepherds were not expecting to see angels in the field. The animals certainly were not expecting to share their space with human beings, let alone a baby. And Mary and Joseph certainly were not expecting to have a baby out in the cold. Much of this story happened by surprise to the people and animals who experienced this story. So, as we tell the story, as much as you know this story, imagine it were happening for the first time. Try to think of the spontaneity of the moment, the moment God chose to enter our world and our lives in a new way. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. That was the first registration and was taken while Cornelius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went to the town of Nazareth in Galilee, to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. because there was no place for them in the end.
region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom God favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. Mary 
committed these things to memory and considered them carefully. The shepherds returned home, glorified and praising God for all they had heard and seen. Everything, everything happened just as they had been told. Now in that Christmas bag, you have a communion cup. If you didn't come, that's okay. I want you to go and make sure that you have something to drink and something to eat. Cause we will now come and be refreshed at the table of our Lord. Now in the silence, whisper of joy, which comes into every life, now, in the comfort of carols, singing of hope, which takes away the despair, which envel envelops us. Now, in familiar words heard anew, speak to us of grace, which is born into barren lives, of peace, which is birth in war's shadow fears. Now, leaning next to those who have always been a part of us and those from whom we have been a part, remind us of your heart, which always accepts us, always welcomes us. Now, in the love which is ours forever, draw us closer to your heart so we can be surprised by wonder swaddled in serenity, embraced by tenderness. On the night in which he gave himself up for himself, he took bread and gave thanks to you. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is given to you. Do this in remembrance of me as often as you do so. For deeper love, we have spread the bread. I won't be full till all are fed, till every soul has home and bed. The rest of us can't move ahead. Now I want you to open the first layer of your communion cup. Take the wafer and eat it. And if you have bread, break off a piece of the bread. 
This is the body of Christ broken for you, for us. And when the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks, gave it to his disciples and said, drink from this, all of you. This is my blood poured out for you for forgiveness, for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. And to do this as often as you do in remembrance of me. So now open the other layer of your prepackaged communion cup and drink. Or take your beverage and let us all drink together and be refreshed and empowered by the Holy Spirit. For deeper love, we share the wine. I cannot taste the love divine till every soul has walked the line and you had yours like I had mine. And so, in remembrance of your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves as holy and living sacrifices in union with Christ, offering us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us, gathered here, and all these gifts of bread and fruit of the vine, make them be for us your love and light, so that our hearts may be broken open to the world and our lives poured out in service. No one is saved till all are healed, as Jesus on the mount revealed, your life and mine forever sealed, just like the lilies of the field. By your spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world. Mix our voices in harmony with each other until we sit at the same table and sing the same choir in your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Through your son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours. Almighty God, now and forever. Amen. We follow where Christ has led to table that for all is spread and no one is sitting at the head, but deeper love in wine and bread. Now, we ask God to touch us once again with Christmas, God in community, holy in one, as we join in praying as we have been taught. Let us pray the prayer Jesus taught us all those years ago, for we are one in Christ. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This is the night we are reminded that God loves to be with us. Yet all too often, by our choices, our words, our silence, we choose not to be with God. Hear our prayer on this holy night to the one who was born to gift us with mercy and hope. Forgive us, love gifter, and draw us closer to the baby born not into wealth and power, but into poverty 
and weakness. To the one who loves unconditionally and welcomes all. To the child who gathers other children to him to bless them and serve them. To the one who drew near to us so we might be drawn to your heart. Jesus Christ, our brother, our Lord. We are always provided an assurance of pardon. Into the valleys of our death, Jesus comes with life. Into the shadows of our world, Jesus brings light. Into the darkness and brokenness of our lives, Jesus brings forgiveness and peace. Thanks be to God for the gift of the baby of Bethlehem who brings joy and peace to us in these moments of forgiveness and in all the days to come. Amen. Let us remember to dedicate our offering. Hear this prayer of dedication. Now on this night of giftedness, remind us of those who struggle to put food on the table, to buy a single gift for their child, to wrap a warm blanket around a grandparent so we might realize how blessed we are and share and share from our abundance. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let us go to be the gift another needs, sharing God's blessings and love and grace, running to tell the story we heard from the shepherds. Let us go to be the comfort which can swaddle others, sharing Jesus' compassion with the poor and needy, welcoming the holiness offered by the most vulnerable we meet. 
let us go to enkindle the lives around us, sharing the Spirit's peace with all the broken, learning the language of hope from the children in our midst. And so, my friends, like bells ringing out the news that Christ is born among us, fill the night left with sadness and messages of hope, love, joy, and peace. Go into your lives humming the tunes that keep the light alive in you and that spur you on in your work of justice and reconciliation. Raise your voices and repeat after me. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. God is with us. God is with us. Amen.